What's up everybody? Welcome to My Done Life. This is where I take you on my adventures on two wheels or four. Today we're on a two wheel adventure heading towards kind of a southeastern Ohio and you can see the bikes are out today. It is a Monday which is uh, surprising me on the number of bikes that we're seeing uh, but it is a beautiful November day. Uh, it's about mid 70s. Uh, and we are just uh, trying to take in the last few riding days of the season. And uh, I'm here with uh, Nash, who's been kind of my riding partner all season. Now Nash had uh, recently uh, went on vacation with his family and he, uh, he was, uh, thinking about not going his mom wanted him to go I think they went to Myrtle Beach or Virginia Beach I think it was Myrtle Beach and uh, and I'll show a picture here and Nash uh, was like all right well put the hitch on the on the SUV and let me take uh, or, or and get me a Harley which you know, his mom said I'm not buying you a Harley but you can uh, we'll put the you can put the hitch on the on the on the SUV and we'll uh, we'll trailer the bike down. Well, being the nice guy that I am, I uh, I offered up the sporty, and uh, he did not hesitate much <laughs> to, about taking the sporty. So uh, they trailered it down. And uh, he got to enjoy it for uh, three or four days. As you can see, the farmers are finishing up the fields. And you can also see that the leaves, for the most part, have fallen. There are still some. But it is uh, getting about that time of the year. I think the only real reason that uh, we're seeing this kind of weather uh, is because of the uh, the hurricanes and the tropical storms that uh, have been hitting the, the Gulf area, it's been pushing warm air up towards us. So we've uh, we've been flip flopping a little bit back and forth between. Uh, I think we've gotten uh, high 30s on the low, and, uh, and then today being I think one of the warmest days of. 75, 77, something like that today. So it's been really great riding weather. I know that uh, her two wheels has been out trying to enjoy as much of it as she can. She uh, she will ride in throughout the winter, which I won't. Uh, as much as I enjoy riding, I don't uh, I don't enjoy the cold. And. Uh, We are looking looking ahead to 2021. Uh, this is the post-election episode, if you will. And regardless of who you vote for, uh, I'm glad for all those who went out and, and did their civic duty. Uh, I voted in this election, uh, I, something I hadn't done in, in, in quite a few here uh, in recent memory. And, uh, Felt like it was uh, something important that I needed to do, and uh, a lot of my fellow moto vloggers uh, all uh, did the same and posted pictures of the uh, you know I voted today. And uh, uh, like I said, regardless of which side that you were on, you had your reasons, you had your 
trepidation, and I do too on both sides. But, uh, and I won't say who I voted for, but, you know, we gotta, we gotta work together. I am glad, though, that, uh, you know, that even though Joe, it looks as if Joe Biden has won, uh, the Democrats will not have control of, of the Congress, which means they will have to work together with Republicans, um, you know, to, to build, you know, a better, brighter future. And, you know, and that, for me, that as a parent, as an adult, as an American, you know, that, that's the things that, uh, that I care about, is leaving a better future for my children. We're looking on for 2021. We are, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about the future. Um, I'm about to start a new position at work. Uh, it was a lateral move, but it was uh, a lateral move because uh, my current job position was about to go away in an, uh, here in about March. Um, I don't, uh, I, it's something I will sit down and talk about. I've, uh, I've hinted at it both on live streams and in other videos about what I, what I do or what I was, you know, I've been doing, but, uh, you know, I, until I've made a complete transition, I don't want to, I don't want to risk any repercussions for what I might say. Um, but, uh, you know, I am nervous about the change. I've been doing the same job for almost seven years. You see the leaves have fallen. Something you got to watch out as a rider. Gotta, those leaves, can, they like grass, can be very dangerous. And, uh, but like I said, things are changing. And we'll see whether or not it's for the good. Uh, for 2021 though, as far as the channel's concerned, um, I do have intentions of uh, purchasing another motorcycle. Uh, that is in the plans. Uh, I'll start that search sometime after the first of the year. And I, I think Nash is uh, very interested in the Sportster. So uh, he'll have the first dibs at it. I saw. Cool little town. I have to make a stop here sometime. And, uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, 2021, I do plan on uh, taking on uh, or getting another motorcycle. It will be, uh, it will be something new, uh, used, it won't be new. That I know for sure. Um, but, uh, I also am, uh, planning for more miles. Um, as I said in another video, I've done more miles this season than I've ever done. But, uh, I want to do more. And, uh, I'm hoping to do another long trip uh, but whether or not uh, whether or not that trip is completely on two wheels or or if we load the bikes up on a trailer and take them uh, it's still up in the air I would love to do Daytona bike week uh, if it happens but uh, you know because of the the time of the year something we uh, definitely would have to you 
you know, trailer the bikes down, at least in Georgia. Uh, just because of the weather, it wouldn't be very conducive to doing that trip. Uh, but my uh, my mom lives just south of Atlanta, so we could take we could take the bikes and the and the trailer there, offload the bikes, and uh, ride the rest of the way. And I very much uh, uh, do want to do that if if I can. Uh, there's also you know, maybe the talk of doing Sturgis. Uh, I don't know if we'll do the Sturgis Rally, uh, but I would love to at least go to Sturgis and ride, uh, ride all the riding around the Sturgis area. Uh, that's another one I don't know if I would have enough, if I could have enough time off to uh, to make that whole trip without having to literally go there, maybe spend a day, two tops, and, and turn and burn it. Um, so, something to think about. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a Ride Ohio uh, riding series. Uh, that would include things like I'm doing today where we're going to go see um, we'll go you know do, travel some of Ohio's best riding roads and and do the and, and see all the things that uh, that you can see in Ohio there are some great roads uh, one of them that I didn't get to do known as the triple nickel Um, the Triple Nickel is uh, kind of Ohio's version of Tale of the Dragon. Uh, it's about 70 or 80 miles long, uh, and it is uh, supposedly very technical. With a lot of curves. Uh, so I'd like to uh, tackle that. It's one, one of the possible things to you know mark off my list. There are also a ton of, uh, ooh, see the, I don't know if I caught that on GoPro or not. It's a uh, barn with the Shaw uh, Chewing Tobacco logo painted on it. Um, there are plenty of, you know, foodie places, uh, lots of sites to play the weird places that I could uh, you know I could go there's some uh, there's some haunted places that, that I definitely could you know ride to uh, especially towards the October season and uh, and I think it would make great content for the channel so definitely if you haven't already make sure you hit like and subscribe we're looking to uh, we're going to do some fun things in 2021. As long as this COVID thing finally uh, finally settles down, you know, and uh, that's really uh, you know hampered a few things that I, I wanted to do this year. Uh, I didn't get to do the Easy Rider Rodeo, uh, which I normally do every year, but. Uh, and look at that fall foliage. And uh, normally there's a lot of big uh, festivals that go on, both in the spring and the, and, the, and the late summer, early fall. And uh, the pumpkin show being one of them. Another great, uh, I was in Circleville, Ohio, usually, you know, towards the October era. And, uh, and literally it's everything pumpkin. Uh, basically if you can, you can stuff pumpkin in it, you can find it. And uh, we, uh, we also usually have the uh, apple butter festival. Uh, if you've ever had apple butter, I would call it more like an apple cinnamon jam. That's the way I would describe it. It is absolutely phenomenal on toast. And, uh, you know, something that, uh, 
Now, as far as uh, free foodies, I happen to be one of them. Uh, something we really enjoy. And, and there are many, many other festivals, uh, county fairs. I mean, uh, just the gamut of things to do that normally happen, but didn't this season because of the COVID. A good 2021. I'm hoping the bad bad juju goes away for 2020. You can see the farmers are clearing the fields. Usually they're just a, they're usually done by right about now, but uh, uh, they're running a little behind the season. Uh, you can see all the motorcycles are out, and this is a Monday, so that tells you, you know, how much uh, those of us who uh, are lucky enough to try to enjoy the last few days of the fall season, you know, it, uh, it's definitely one of those things that uh, if you've never got to enjoy, you should. Uh, Blockhead recently uh, was up here with uh, her two wheels, also known as Jess. Um, she uh, she invited uh, Blockhead and uh, Bagger Bro. Some road glides from uh, AD Faro. And uh, he got to he got to enjoy the fall weather and the uh, wonderful Ohio curvy roads. So I'm planning on picking up another GoPro. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a Hero 9. Um, it might. It's probably going to be another 8, just so I don't have to. I don't have to get new battery, different batteries, and all that good stuff. Gotta love your local Dairy Queen. Welcome to New Lexington. <laughs> It's a BMW, yeah, that's an old BMW. And uh, you know, we're uh, I'm hoping to definitely uh, take Nash on with some of my adventures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try to figure up a uh, way to uh, I mean these Bluetooth communicators are okay for what they are for 50 bucks uh, but uh, we're, yeah, an upgrade is definitely much needed and I think uh, you know I'm probably gonna have to break down and get a Cena or a Carta
be real careful. Being the only ones. Oh, oh Jesus. Somebody else we know. <laughs> I told you it was big. I'm done.